بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي So we are continuing uh, with uh, Kana and her sisters We left off doing some exercises So we'll just continue where we left off Doing more exercises of Kana Hopefully tomorrow we'll finish Kana Wrap up Kana And then I'm thinking we're going to start Sarf Because Compound Isim, I want to discuss Inna and Anna when we do advanced structures because it's also mentioned there. So I think it would be much simpler if we do it like that. But I'm still debating. Most likely next week we shall start um, Sarf. So be ready for that. All right. So maybe just because it's been a week, uh, a few reminders about Kana and her sisters. Kana and her sisters, we say this al naqif, meaning... They, they lack something, they're faulty, they're deficient, they're missing something. All these are meanings of naqis. So this is why they're called afalu naqis. And because of that, they're treated as jumla ismiya. That means they have a mubtada and a khabar. And they're treated normally the way jumla ismiya will be treated. So if it has an outside dua, it will also have an outside ism. If it has an inside dua, dua then it will be called an inside ism. And when you're coming to negate uh, Kana and her sisters, you negate it as Jumla Fi'aliya. Now, even though it's treated as Jumla Ismiya, but when we come to negating it, we treat it as Jumla Fi'aliya. So, for example, if it's Madi, if it's Kana, we would either use Ma Kana or Lam Yakun to negate the Madi. And if it is Mudari'a, then we will use uh, Ma Yakunu or use La Yakunu. And if it is the future tense, sayakunu, then we will use len yakuna. Of course, you can't say len sayakuna. You get rid of the sa, so because sa means future. So you cannot say he will not in the future. You can't negate basically with sa. So you say len yakuna. So that's basically the summary of it. And maybe just one more important point to note. When Kana and her, uh, uh, and her sisters, they come with the name of Allah, there's no time limitation to it. We don't say he was, Allah was. We don't limit Allah in the past. When it comes with Allah, with the name of Allah, then it is not limited in terms of time. So that's just a brief summary of Kana. We had done some exercises here. So the instructions are very simple. What we are supposed to do is, we're given uh, English sentences. We're supposed to come up with the Arabic. And we are then supposed to negate that Arabic sentence, the Kana sentence that... And we are using kana because it's the most common. But asbaha, mazala, madama, balla, all these other ones, they work the same way that kana works. So if you've mastered kana, you've mastered a lot more than just kana. About like eight different other fi'al. Af'al naqas. Right, so let's begin with, the, with the, where we left off. So both of them were playing. How do I come up with the uh, Arabic of that? How do I translate that? Both of them were playing. Any ideas? Kana, mm hmm. Sorry, your, your voice is really low. Uh, I can't make it up. Oh, it's lying. I've been reading it playing. I don't know why. Sorry. Lying. Yes. So uh, you can use the... You can use the isim file here. Or even if you can even imply the meaning of used to by using the mudara. So can I, What is the isim file? Isim file is a Mm-hmm. So, kazaba. Oma is already in it, the, in the kana itself. Yes. Oh, okay, uh, okay. I need to say uh, kazaba, kazaba. Uh, okay. so kazaba? Kazab... Ya kazibu. Kazaba, ya kazibu, sorry. Kazaba, ya kazibu. Ya kazibani. So, if you say ya kazibani, so it doesn't make sense. Why not? Uh, because cover of Kana should be uh, um, uh, in a Yes, it should be. But what is Yakzibu? Is it an ism or a fa'al? 
It's okay. Yeah. Um, there's some disturbance coming from your mic, but uh, let's see if you can do it quick. So, كان يكذباني. It's an it's a fail for du for duo for two people. And therefore, nasab status does not matter when it comes to fail. Right? When we talk about nasab rafa ajar, those only apply to Islam. Those 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 are I have a class. I'll come and talk to you later. Okay. Uh, thank you, me. Thank you. So the mic is on. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> no problem. So Kana, Yakidibani. So they both of them were lying. Right? So how do I negate that then? Ma kana? Yes. Cognize Ma kana ya kibani? Kana, because now two people. You have to make sure you prolong the na. Yeah, ma kana ya kibani. Yeah, because the second part is an it's a fail. Nothing really changes with it. So ma kana ya kibani or or Lam yakun. Oh, lam yakun, lam yakun. Yes. Lam yakun, yes, lam yakun. Lam yakun, the All right. Any questions? Yes. Oh, lam this word. Yeah. Well, right. This right. Yakuna, yakunu, yakuna. Yeah. Oh, lam yakuna. Yes, sorry. Yeah. Both of them. <laughs> yes, lam yakuna. Yeah. Uh, Sister Lam, uh, yeah. both of them were lying it comes mm -hmm. in the past continuous tense right yes okay. like uh, because sometimes you get confused by seeing just was and over uh i get confused okay no problem okay let's do let's we'll do when we get to she was angry we'll use this example we'll use this example so that hopefully we can clarify that for you all right i was sleeping Anna Nai Kana Anna Kuntu. I Kuntu. We can use the Isim Fa'il, yeah? Or the Mubarak. Anamu. Uh, anamu. Kuntu Anamu, yes, you can say that. Kuntu Anamu. Um, anamu. Or, or you can also say. Kuntu, kuntu mother. If I use the isim fai. Nine. Na. Yes. Kuntu na. Imatun. Na ima. Yes. Na ima. Na ima. Kuntu na ima. Because it's the isim, so it has to be nasad. Kuntu na ima. It's the khabar of Kana, sorry, the khabar of Kana there. All right. Kuntu anamu or kuntu na iman. How do we negate this then? It's uh, jumla ismir? Yes. We can start with, let's start with kuntu la, anamu. La, la kuntu anamu? No, no, no. I'm uh, sorry. La kuntu na in la kuntu la na iman. Kuntu is maadi. Ma kuntu na iman. Yes. So remember when you're negating madi, either use ma plus madi or use lam plus mudara. La is only used with a madi if you're going to repeat it. La sadaka wa la sadaka wa la salla. Do you see how that? La dahaba wa la jaa. You have to repeat the la for you to be able to use oh. the madi. Yeah. Otherwise, you just stick with ma or lam yakun. This is I was sleeping the Jumla Ismia, right? I was sleeping, yeah. Kuntu na iman in this part is a Jumla Ismia. But the first part, Kuntu Anamu. Uh, anamu is the fail. So when we are negating, remember we negate according to the fail. Like Mali, Kuntu is in the past. So we negate it according to the past. We had okay. the, the same confusion last week, remember? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, it's getting confused again. Yeah, 
Yeah. So, so we'll take the connected according to Kuntu, not the yes. na Naim and Nada Anama. No. You okay? So look at it. So Kana, we said Kana is Jumla Ismiya. When you're treating it, you look at Mubtada Khabar. That's when it's positive sentence. Okay. When you're coming to negate it, then now you look at it as a fail. You ask yourself, okay, yeah. is it is it past? Is it present? Is it future? Then you negate it according to the tenses, according to the whether it's past tense or yeah, like that. So ma kuntu. Anamu. Or you can say ma kuntu na iman. Sister, can I can I say one thing? When you're dealing with a positive sentence, then you will you might you might take it as jumla ismiya. But when you're negating it, then you should go with the madi, right? Madi or mudare. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let me. Lam. Akun. Hmm. Lam akun. Anamu. So this is just gonna be anamu normal. Or it's gonna be. Lam akun naiman. Yeah, so that naiman just stays naiman because it's an ism, so it's a khabar of kana, it has to be nasab. That's basically that. Now, again, another example. She was angry. She was angry. Kanat. Kanat. Wadi batan. Yeah. Wadi ba. Uh, ten. When you have a tamar buta, you don't put the alif. You don't write it like this, or you don't do the ta like that. So if you have a tamar buta, just put the fathatain like muslimatun, muslimatan, muslima. There's no fatha. So kanat put a sukun here so that we can differentiate it. Kanat ghadibata. How do I negate that then? Because it's kanat. It's in the past. Ma cannot hold the button. Ma cannot or lam yep. Takun. 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 I cannot hold the button. Or lam. Yep. Lam takun. I think cannot should have a leaf. Cannot should have? Cannot should have ka plus a leaf. No need to have. Should have a leaf? Uh, can it spelling is fine to say that? Oh, I've been writing. I've been writing. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. No I think oh no, the other one is fine. Yeah. Okay. Yes, it should have an alif there. Thank you for that. Yeah, I suck in typing. Like I just mess it up all the time. Okay, so let's look at this sentence. So I'm gonna put some sentences here and you're gonna tell me what they mean. So we're gonna have yeah. Can I just copy this? Make it easy to type. And then... And then we can have... Sorry, I'm a bit slow, but we'll get there. <laughs> okay. So we have three sentences here. Let me paste them so that you can see them clearly. Okay. So we have here Ghadi Batun. Here Ghadi Batun. What does that mean? Yeah. yeah. This means she is angry. Did it work? Uh, how would I? Okay. So let me go all the way this way. Hopefully it will work. So she is angry. So you see, it has an is. So the invisible is is there. Okay. And then here we have kun kanat ghadibatan, which we have it already here. I'm just gonna copy that. She mm. was angry. And then lastly we have. 
كانت تغضب How do I translate that? She was being angry? Yeah, she was being angry or she used to be angry. Yeah, we can say used to be angry. Like she no longer is angry. So do you see the difference between this, this three? Mm -hmm. Can you correct the spelling of Khanat? Again, please. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Oops, what did I do? So that's what we have. Okay. So when you look at this uh, Jumla Ismiya, we know invisible is comes there. Here, غاضبتن, she is angry. كانت غاضبتن. غاضبتن. That means can, when, when you have can, it automatically goes to the past tense. Automatically. So you have to have a was or a wa. And I think that's something that confuses you because when you see wa, you think, okay, this is another verb. But sometimes it's just can. Kana doing her, its thing. So, she was angry. Kana Tradiba. Then you have tell so, yeah. so, so, it means that like was will, was in with some verbs, was comes with the verb itself. Was comes Am with the verb. I mean, the verb translation comes with the was only? Like was angry? N no, no, no. Sometimes angry. if it's passive, then you can have this were, they were being, or you can have were. Right? If okay. It's okay, okay. Yeah. But just like this, she was angry, then it's just kana. Kana no, this is a this, she was angry, but this is passive? No, this is no, not no. passive, right? No, this is not passive. This is not passive. I'm just saying with, with other verbs, like for example, uh if I say they were they were brought. Okay, that's gonna be a difficult one. What what I say? They were beaten. Yeah, they were beaten. Am I gonna use Canada? No, I'm just gonna make Zaraba. No, I'm no, gonna no. make it passive, right? So sometimes when you see why it doesn't automatically mean Canada, sometimes it could mean passive. So you have to ask yourself who's doing the act. In this case, we know who's doing the act. It is she. Okay, so that means it's gonna be a Canada sentence. We can't think of passive. I just wanted to clarify this. I don't know if that uh, made it easier. Yes, Saima. Uh, then this is now, uh, and I'm sorry. Uh, it's Kanat, the, the last one. Kanat, the last one. <laughs> so I was thinking like how we you wrote first. Now she uh, was being angry. Mm -hmm. So that was, I was thinking about the different like used to is Used to and being. So it with kana sentence. She was think, being. You don't say she is being, she was yeah, being. She was, she was being. So yeah. my point is it's with kana sentences or the kana sentences, it is better to use this one, used yeah. to be. Yes. Otherwise, you can confuse it with the passive one if we are ah, using do. exactly. That yeah, that's that's better. It's better to use used to because it's easier to understand. Also, I, it's much better English, like she was being, it's just weird. But if you mm -hmm. say she used to be angry, if people understand, like she no longer is angry, like she was angry before, she no longer is angry. That's the difference, the subtle differences between when you use a, an ism or you use a jumla fi'aliyah that is mudari'a with kana. Clear? All right, let's do the last uh, example. He will be a hero. The word for hero is batal. Sayakunu. 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 Batalan. Yes. Batalan. Sayakunu. Batalan. Okay. Uh, how do I negate this? Lan yakuna batalan. Because remember, when you're negating in the future, because sa is will. So when you're negating in the future, we use len. Yeah, len. Yaku. No. 
that button. He will not be a hero. Okay, so far so good. Yes, Alhamdulillah. Great. So now let's uh, look at some Quran. Let's see how it's been used in the Quran. We have a bunch of kana, and if you open the Quran, I'm sure in just one page you'll see several kana. It's a very widely used uh, word in the Quran. I don't know how many times in the Quran. Maybe I should have checked. But yeah, it's very, very common. So I just got a couple of examples. And here I want to keep it very simple. So we're going to identify the khabar, the, the mubtada, the khabar, and the mutalik bil khabar if it's there. And then we can try and translate the kana portion. Um, so I try to to find relatively diverse examples so that we can have a variety of you know ayahs to look at. So we have here in the Latin kafaru wa zalimu lam yakun illahu liyaghfir lahum wa la liyahdiyahum tariqa. I hope it's in a zoom so you can see. Oops, that's a lot. Okay. Yeah, I think that's good enough. So what do you guys think? So we'll, we'll, we won't focus on this part. We'll just focus on the bold part, the kana part. Make it easier. So let me yakun illahu liyaghfira lahum wa la liyahdiyahum tariqa. Allah did, did, Allah did not. So let's figure out the move to the khabar first and then we can figure out the translation. Okay, sure. Lam yakun illahu. Then lam yakun illahu is mubtada. Uh huh. So I'm just gonna color that green, maybe. Mubtada. Mm hmm. It's liyak fira is mutalik bil khabar. Uh, so this, if it's gonna be mutalik bil khabar, what, what, what? Uh... Oh no, 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 Yes, this is the khabar of Kana. Remember the light harf? And then likay idan hata. It made yaghfira yes. light. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah. So this will be the khabar of Kana. Okay, so khabar of Kana, we're going to make it blue. All right, and then, of course, lahum. What is lahum? Yes, I'm not. Mutalib al khabar? Mutalib. Yes, this is Mutalik al Khabar. I'm going to call it purple. Yes, Saima, do you want to say something? Yes, Sister, I have a doubt. Like, Leah, uh, Fira. So, Sister was saying that it is Mutalik bil Khabar. So, why it can't be a Mutalik bil Khabar? Because it's a harf of Nasab and only harf of Jar can be a Mutalik bil Khabar. Yes. Am I right? Yes, okay. you're right. That's why she corrected herself. She was like, no, this is a file. It can't be. Mutalik bil khabar because mutalik bil khabar is jar majroor. Jar majroor is ism, isms. It's not, oh. it doesn't happen in fa'al. Special mudabs. Yes, and special mudabs. Yes. But this is it's not a special mudab. This is actually a fa'al. Right? Yeah. So in that case, this is going to be the khabar of kana. Jumla fa'aliya. Fi mahalli nasab. Right. So of course this is a continuation of it. This is Wow Harf Atif connecting this uh lam la. So you have this structure lam la neither nor. When you see lam la, lam yakuni lahu liyafira lahum wala li Allah will not this nor that. Something like that. Allah will neither be the one to forgive them. So you remember that structure we talked about? Let me pull it up. So, ma kana, you have ma kana, plus an isim marfu, plus lam, li. And then fi'il mudari' mansub. Remember that? Was not one, two. Right? Mm. This is the structure we are looking at right now. So, you have uh, lam yakun, instead of ma kana, you have lam yakun, which is the same thing, because that's how we negate madi. Either ma kana or lam yakun. So, you have lam yakun here, and then you followed by an ism that is marfu' the lafzul jalala here you can see it's marfu' and then li plus a fi'il that a fi'il mudari' that is mansub so that is the structure we are talking about yes Fawzia you want to say something Ani I wanted to ask if there was no li there um, and because this is a khabar could it still 
uh, be a khabar because it would be yaq fira still because it would be a khabar of kana no it would be yaq firu tell me why khabar of kana can only be mansub when it is a what so what is this is this a fa'il or an ism oh this is a fa'il yeah can a fa'il be mansub or no let me put it this way no, no can not by itself Yeah. Yes, not by itself, it needs, and also, it needs the... yeah, and also half of nasab when you're talking about jar nasab and rafa, most of the time when you're talking about that's for that, isms, for isms, right? Exactly. Got it. Thank you. All right. Okay. All right. So I was just explaining that template. Lam yakun illahu liyafira lahu. So this will be the ma kan or the lam yakun part, followed by a an isim that is marfu. Okay, then followed by lam, then followed by a fa'il, a jumla, a fa'il mudara, that is mansub, that has a fatha on it. And that template basically means, uh, well, in this case, let's use uh, Allah. Allah will not be one, two. So somebody is not one, two, something. And, and in this case, Allah is not one, two, forgive them. All right? Any questions there? So we can go to the next one. Um, so we'll skip the first part. We're just going to focus on the kana part. وَكُنْتُمْ أَمْوَاتًا فَأَحْيَاكُمْ وَكُنْتُمْ أَمْوَاتًا What is the mubtada? What is the khabar? Mubtada is kuntum. Amwatan is khabar. Yes. Kuntum is the mubtada. And the isim of kana here is antum. It's an inside pronoun. Amwatan is the khabar. Oh, I did that the wrong way. So, quantum, this needs to be green. So, that's what we're looking at. So, Mubtada, Khabar, basically. Fa ahyakum. So, this is the, a new jumla. Fa here is, is the inafia, is just starting a new sentence. So, fa ahyakum, basically. And he uh, brought you to life. He gave you life. You were dead, then he gave you life. Okay. Then we have. كان عدوا لله وملائكته ورسله وجبريل وميكال. We'll stop there. كان عدوا لله وملائكته. What do you guys think? كان مبتدا اسمه هو. Mhm. عدوا. صبر. Mhm. لله وملائكته ورسله all. Yes. Can all of you see that? Like it's all connected? We have Lillahi wa Li Harf Jar. Laftul Jalala isim majroor. So that's Mutalik bil Khabar. Then you have Wa Harf Atif. Malaika T. It's it's it has the same, you know, majroor st uh, jar status. Malaika T he wa rusu lihi. Wa Jibri la. Why is Jibri la and Mikala? Why is this nasab? Partially flexible. Exactly. Ah. These are partly flexible. So they're in jar status. They're just not showing their kasra. They're hiding. They're shy. They don't want to show kasra. And that's how we treat foreign names. You know? Jibril and Mikal, they're not Arabic names. So they're treated partly flexible. Okay. So, man kana aduwa lillahi wa malaikati wa rusulihi wa jibreela wa mikala. Whoever, man here is shartiya. So, whoever uh, was an enemy to Allah and his angels and his prophets or his messengers and to Jibreel and Mikail, yeah? then of course, fa, fa, this is the response to the shart. Fa inna Allah aduwa lil kafirin. This is the jawabu shart. Yeah. We'll get to shart and jawabu shart when we get there, inshallah. Then we have وَلَوْ كَانَ مِنْ عِنْدِ غَيْرِ اللَّهِ لَوَجَدُوا فِيهِ اخْتِلَافًا كَثِيرًا What do we think? Nana is Muqtada. مِنْ عِنْدِ غَيْرِ اللَّهِ is متعلق بالقبر. Yeah, so this is, is a case. No... Yes. To this? There's no khabar. It's manzoo. 
yes khabar is mahdhu whenever you have a, a jumla ismiya with a mubtada and a and a muta'allik bil khabar it is assumed that this muta'allik is is ma'tuf is connected to a khabar that is mahdhuf that is hidden that's that's how they just look at it but of course that's just a long process of saying the same thing you can just say that this is the mubtada this is the muta'allik bil khabar and that's the end of the story why need to go do this gymnastics of saying there's a khabar somewhere that is hiding and this is connected to that thing that is hiding I, yeah I, don't, I think it just Ustaz made it easy so but other other books oh my god you read this, this these things and you're like oh, why do they complicate it so much anyway alhamdulillah so yeah so basically this is the mubtada kana is the mubtada min harf jar عندي is the isim majroor so and then عندي what kind of a word is عندي kind of a word is عندي yeah. yeah so this is a special mudaf and again a mudaf so it's a it's a mudaf and also a mudaf to غيري that's why it's also jar and then غيري what kind of a word is that Even again special is... yes <laughs> another special mudaf and also, it's a mudaf ilay and a, and a mudaf as well. And then you have al laftul jalala is the mudaf ilay, the last mudaf ilay in that chain of idafa. Okay. So, walau kana min indi ghayri Allahi, and if it were from uh, other than Allah, from other than from Allah, I don't know how to say this, from, because indi is like surrounding, like right next to or immediate. If it wasn't from, I don't know how they translated this. I maybe somebody can pull it up the translation because Indi has a special meaning, and of course, غير الله other than Allah. So if it wasn't from within, I don't want to say within. I want to say uh, hmm. somebody look up this ayah. See the translation. Maybe besides Allah. Yeah, Indi can also mean beside, not besides, but like from mm -hmm. within, from around. Like very close to Allah. If it wasn't from a place very close to Allah, kind of like what mm -hmm. is being said, uh, it's it's alluding to the fact that the Quran is a very close thing. It's it's a speech of Allah, so it's it was very high up with Allah. Ma kana Ibrahimu Yahudiyan wa la What do we think here? Kana. Ismukana Ibrahimu Muqtada. So, first of all, what kind of a ma is that? Nafia. Mm. So, here is a negation. We're looking at an example of a negation of kana. Okay. So, we have kana. And that's why we are using ma, remember? Because when you're negating kana, which is madi, you can either use ma or lam yakun. Right? So, that's why they're using ma. So, of course, kana. You said kana. What is the Ibrahim. Muqtada? Uh -huh. Ibrahim. Yeah, so the whole thing is a Muqtada because Ibrahim is the outside dua of Kana. You can see even it's Rafa. So all that will be a Muqtada. Then you have Yahudian. Wala, nas wala Nasraniyan. Khabar mm -hmm. of Kana. Yes. So that's a Khabar of Kana. Because you can see it's, it's, it's Nasab status, both of them. Yahudian, Nasraniyan. Okay. Oh, so Fawzia found it. So had it been from anyone other than Allah. So I think that it's just the emphasis added there. From anyone other than Allah. Yeah. But I think it's also still missing something. I don't know. Uh, I'll go do a deep dive on this ayah. Find the... Because Allah could have just said, وَلَوْ كَانَ مِنْ غَيْرِ اللَّهِ Still the same meaning, right? And if it was... Zayda? I don't remember. No, this mean is harf jar. It means just from, in this case, if it was from other than Allah. But غَيْرِ اللَّهِ means other than Allah. So what is this عِنْدِي doing here? That, so maybe especially for... Especially yes. for... Yeah, so I think there's a, there's more meaning because of this عِنْدِي. And of course, most of us here will not mention that. I'll go do a deep dive and then maybe do a summary in the group, inshallah. Okay, and then we have 
in this same ayah, we have actually two kanas. So, walakin kana hanifan musliman. Actually, we have three kanas here. Wow. So, what are we looking at? Kana muqtada hanifan musliman. Yeah. Kana muqtada. Yeah. Hanifan and musliman is our khabar. Yeah, because it's in a substance. What is the relationship between Hanifan and Musliman? Yeah. Uh, actually, uh, okay, yeah, you can look at it as Mawsusifa or Khabar 1 and Khabar 2. Like he was Hanifan, he was Musliman. But with people, it's it's you can it's fine. You can say Mawsusifa. It's fine. Right. وَمَا كَانَ مِنَ الْمُشْرِكِينَ Exactly. This will be a mutalik bil khabar. Kana is refusing. Okay, there we go. Min al mushrikin mutalik bil khabar. I think that's clear. Any questions so far? And of course, this ma. Is that? Yeah, so this ma goes back to this. So you see this wow harfato goes back to initial ma. So ma kana wa ma kana. All right. Ma kana lillahi an yattakhida min waladin. So you see kana actually in the Quran is very easy. I don't know why people are scared of kana. It's, it's, it's a pretty easy concept actually. Ma kana lillahi. أن يتخذ من ولد ما كان أن وكان of a see this is a kind of a template that we talked about also let me just go back so we have ما كان لي أن okay so ما كان and then you have the dua inside here and then you have لي أن ما كان لي somebody أن something and that would mean it was not appropriate for this person to do this thing. I hope that's clear. I know I'm using very vague words. But I think it's a bit clear. So what would be the mubtada? What would be the khabar in this case? Makana would be the mubtada. Lillahi would be mutalik bil khabar. Ayyat the khaysa would be the khabar. Min waladin mutalik bil khabar too. I'm trying to remember this. I think. Ayat the fiza can be done your master. Yes. So it will be yeah. The and then it will be khabar of Tana. And yeah. Mila yeah. here is Zaida. No? Yes. Yes, this is definitely Zaida. But here's where I'm stuck. I'm thinking this is the isim of Kana. But I'm, I, I, don't, I don't know if it is the jar, if it is Mutalik. Can you please show that template again, sister? Yeah, sure. So it was Lee is from Australia. Yeah. Because, you know, when we translate it, when we normally say it was not appropriate for Allah. Yeah, for Allah to. So he's the one doing the action, right? So I'm imagining it's, it's the outside. Ah, so like uh, it was not that he takes so yeah but it will be replaced by he take like yeah possible to translate it properly but with the same meaning that he takes someone else as a ila mm. so that it is that he takes oh sorry walad over here walad son. yeah I've forgotten this part, but I, I I honestly think that this part could be the Mubtada still. So this whole thing would be the Mubtada. But then I will go and again look this up. This is the part I'm forgetting. But I have a hunch that I something is telling me this is still part of the Mubtada. And of course, uh, sorry, would be the Khabar. Because it's, it's the compound isim. So you can replace it with a master, and it can be fi mahali uh, nasab khabar of kana. And then of course min waladin would be 
the mas'ul yeah so this is something else it's not going to be the muta'alliq because this min is za'idah so if you remove the min you will have waladan uh, ma kana lillahi an yattakhidha waladan it is not appropriate for Allah to take a son right so this min is za'idah so when min is za'idah when ba is za'idah what comes after it we're going to treat it like min doesn't exist so we're going to say this part is the mas'ul so this is just totally something else i'm going to mark it great because it's not part of it's not mutaallib i hope that's clear mm -hmm. all right good min walidin subhanahu lahu kun fayakun what is the mubtada what is the khabar Let's see. Let's see if people were paying attention last week. Any ideas? So remember when we started uh, last week, I told you there's um there's ka uh, there's uh, kana that is a fi'al naqid, and there's kana that is what a fi'al. Remember yeah, the word. Da. Um, yes, a fi'al tam means it's a complete verb. It acts like a complete verb. Therefore, it doesn't need a khabar. Right? doesn't need a khabar. So in this case, that's why you can't find the khabar. You look and you just see kun. Where's the khabar? Where's the muta'alik bil khabar? It's not there. Then fayakun. Where's the khabar? Where's the muta'alik bil khabar? What's happening? It's not there. Because this kun, b, it's a command. B, b what? It's not mentioned. So this is a fi'al tam. Okay. And then, sorry, you know, this, this fi, b, b, this first part is actually uh, naqiz, the command form. And this fayakun is actually tam. So act Allah combined both of this in the same sentence. So you have kun, b what? Fayakun. This is the, what it was. And normally they would translate b and it became. Or be and it was, be and it is. Yeah. is the khabar of first kun. Yes. And then this one does not have a khabar or muta'alik because it's tam. It's complete. And it was, and it became. So it became is complete. It's a complete sentence. There's uh, uh, the person doing it, it. Then there's uh, the event. Which was the, the the action of becoming of coming into existence, and then of course there's a time which happened in the past, or and it's happening right, right now. So it's complete in that sense. I don't know if I jumbled uh, too much or you guys got it. I hope you got it. Sister, what else? Uh, what else verbs are tam except kana? No, all the other verbs are, are tam. Like, you know, uh, there are two sets. So we, we studied uh, Af'al Naqis. We studied, we, 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 when we were doing Baina, we did the Kana and her sisters. So Kana and her sisters, normally, they're consi considered Naqis, faulty, missing, lacking something, normally. But sometimes, on occasion, they can act as other normal verbs. So normal verbs, all of them are tam. All of them are complete. Because they have, uh, like, for example, if I say, Anadahibun. If I say, let me type it here so that you can see. Anna, the hibun. Okay, let's make it appropriate. Anna, the hibatun. Anna, the hibatun. I, Anna, I am the doer. The hibatun is the, is the event, is the action that is taking place. So when you have an action and a time of that thing taking place, then that is complete. But with kana, you only have a time and no event. Like you have kana. He was. He was what? W what was the action? What was he doing? It's not mentioned. But if I say anada hibatun, you know I am doing it right now. So there's time. And there's an action. Going is the action. So two things are present. The time of the action and the action itself. But with kana, it's missing the action. It only has time. 
he was in the past he is no he is doesn't exist because that's a jumla uh he 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 will be you know uh he used to be it's just time and no action i hope that's clear right any any yes. other questions okay good last example from the quran um الحقو من ربك فلا تكن من الممترين فلا تكن من الممترين what do you guys think what is the most important تكن is the مبتدا now I know you're thinking oh we just covered كان أتام could this also be كان أتام no there's a متعلق من الممترين is that Right? Mean, so don't be confused. Don't think that every kana you're going to see in the Quran now is going to be tab. No. Most of the time it's going to be nafis. Most of the time. But once in a while you come across one that is tab. Of course, so minal mumtarin is going to be the mutalib al khabar. What kind of a la is this? What kind of a la is this? Nahia. Yes, Nahia, forbidding. So don't be. You know, we said kana conjugates normally. So who are kana, kana, kanu, kanat. And of course, you come to mudare, uh, yakunu, yakunani, all the way to amr, al amru minhu, kun, huna, hunu. Then, of course, you have la nahi, la takun, don't be. So this is Allah commanding, don't be. من المنترين from the doubters those who doubt All right uh, I don't know if there's any other question if there's nothing then we can do the Arab of this other kind of sentence kind of examples that I have here so we have كان خلقه القرآن كان خلقه القرآن what do you guys think We'll continue with the same color scheme. What is Kana here? Kana Kulkuhu Muktada. In fact, I should I should be having you guys read. I shouldn't read for you. So Kana Hul I know. I mean it's so easy. You guys are gonna read now. Because I, I, I didn't put the harakat specifically for that reason. And now I'm reading it for you. So what is Al-Quran here? The Khabar? Yeah, the Khabar. I didn't put the Fatha. So that I, I, I wanted to see what is somebody's going to say. Is going to say the Quran is the doer, the outside doer, what's happening? No, Khuluquhu, his manners, wa the Quran. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We're talking about the Prophet there. All right, somebody read this, number two for us. It's a question. I can try. Yes. Ma kana jawabahu. Huh. So let's remove the the ma. Oh. And then tell me what the mubtada is. Kana is the mubtada. Uh huh. Mm. The dua is who? Who is the dua? Mm. Okay. Jawab. Jawabu. Ah. Jawabu. Yes. So then, then this whole thing is the muqtada. Yes. Yeah. This is just a question, just, Mike. Yeah. What was his answer? Yes. What was his answer? Yeah. But of course, so, yeah. This whole thing will just be the muqtada and the khabar is mahdoof. Or actually, the khabar is ma. Sorry. The khabar is ma. Now, let me explain. So if I say, it's like saying, kana jawabuhu ma, but because ma cannot come at the end, it's a mistifham and adatul istifham, they cannot come at the end. They have to come in the beginning. So in this case, the ma is going to be the khabar of kana. You understand how the Arab of question with kana comes in? Actually, we, the Arab of just questions. When you have a question word, most likely it's either going to be the mus'ul or it's going to be the khabar. It's going to be something like that. 
Is that clear? Yes. So it's like it's like saying in English, his answer was what? So his answer is a mubtada. Then was, then what? The khabar. So it's the word that comes after was. Yeah. So that's how you just think about it. Sometimes in Arabic, you just have to think in reverse. Subhanallah, like we write in reverse and we also have to think in reverse. <laughs> Amazing. Translate it in the English and the part which is coming before was yes. will be the ism of Kana. Yes. Yeah. I, that's the easiest way to do it. Translate it in English and then see which part comes after was. But of course, with this one, it's a bit tricky because if you say what was, then you'll be confused. You'll be like, okay, what has to be the muqtada? Mm -hmm. And then you're like, okay, where's the khabar? So with this one, you have to say his answer was what? You have to speak broken English for this one. You can't do proper mm -hmm. English yet. <laughs> so, yeah, that's just mm -hmm. one of one few cases. Yes. Yeah, so this concept, it just fit with the questions only, you know? Yeah, I've only seen it with questions. I haven't come across it with any other thing because questions cannot come at any other part in the in the jumla. They have to come at the beginning. So sometimes it could be acting as a khabar, but it's muqaddam, like in this case. Or sometimes it could be acting acting as a mas'ul, but it's muqaddam. It has to come in the beginning. That's the problem with question marks. I will see if I find any other examples, but I haven't found any other examples unless the there's a reason for it to be muqaddam. Unless like there's a special meaning that is being derived, then you can have some other word being muqaddam like that. Okay, who wants to do number three? Can I try? Yes. Kana fil madinati malikun kabirun jiddan. Malikun kabirun jiddan. Why do you put a rafa on it? Uh, because it's a muqtada. Ah, it is the muqtada. It's part of the muqtada because it's the outside dua of Kana. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that will be the, the muqtada. And of course here, uh, fil madinati, it yes. came before. Yeah, it's the muqtada. And he came before, why did he come before? Mal Malikun Kabiru? Because it is common. Malikun Kabirun is common. Exactly. Exactly. Because Malikun Kabirun is common. Common doesn't have al on it. So the normal sentence would be it's supposed to be without the kana. It's fil madinati malikun kabiru. That's normal jumla ismiya. And then you just add a yeah, kana. So in it. translation, mm -hmm. uh um, we can say it like um, there. We can use there, no? Yeah, there was. Yes. There is a was. very. There was. Oh, yeah, there was a very big. Oh, king. Kabi, yeah, big king mm -hmm. in the city. Yes. Yeah. There was a big king. Why is Jiddan not part of uh, the, uh, the Muktada? Because I mean, it marked it. Okay, so think about it in English. What kind of a word is very jiddan? A comparator. Oh, sorry. This is yeah. It's, it's so it's it's um it's, it's called an adverb, I think. Describes something. So yeah, it's part of the muqtada. Sorry, I I don't know why. I was thinking it differently in my head. Then yeah. So because it's kabirun jiddan. It's describing Kabir. Like it's not describing, but rather hal of Kabir. Like how is Kabir? Very Kabir. <laughs> kind of what it's saying. Very big. Uh, so it's going to be a part of that story. Yeah. Thank you for catching that up. Any other questions or uh, corrections, clarifications or anything? Okay, good. Who wants to do number four? I can try again. Yes. Uh, Kana Ibrahimu. Lee? Kana Lee? Oh, it's a, there's a Lee. Yeah. Oh, 
كان لي إبراهيمي إبراهيما أها ولد آخ آخر آخر رم Yeah, so this one doesn't take um, a, a tanween. It's one of those party flexible words that we... Aharu. Yeah, it is always just going to be aharu. Okay, so that means you made it rough enough. So obviously this has to be the isim of kana, right? Mm -hmm. And because yeah. it's a normal structure, so half of jar jar majroor here came first because that's the normal structure. Like we just did up here. كان في المدينة كان لي إبراهيم and of course ولدون is نكرة and that's why it's normal like ملكون is نكرة doesn't have that right so how would you translate this إبراهيم had a son another son إبراهيم uh -huh. had another son a... yeah okay. that's how you do it in English but of course uh, it, it, the literal trans translation would be there was another son for إبراهيم Yeah. Um, number five. Who wants to do that? Let me let me fix here because I know that's gonna confuse people. Nobody wants to read without harakat. Soon we're gonna be doing reader. If so. anyone is not doing, can I try? Yes. Yeah. كان أبوه أها يا I'm gonna help you here so you يا أحبه أحبه يحبه يحبه يا يحبه أها أكثر أكثر آه so what kind of word is أكثر أكثر so أكثر أكثر يا because it's like أكبر أكبر yeah yeah that's comparative no comparative yes yeah, min aho aho ah min akhwa ti he yes okay good nice job so now what is the most data what is the khabar so kana abu who is mubtada mm -hmm. and you have bu who Mm -hmm. Aksara is covered. Okay, so we have to ask ourselves where does the, the this sentence end? Where do you think this sentence ends? You hibbu mm aksara min akhawati. I think you hibbu is covered. Mm -hmm. And then aksara would be? And aksara would be. No, I'm not getting it. <laughs> so, yuhibbu is a fi'il, right? Yuhibu? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you see a fi'il, what four things do you look for? Maf'ul. So, you look for the fi'il, the fi'il, the maf'ul, and the muta'allik al fi'il. Okay. Normally, when you see a fi'il, okay. those are the four, four things you try to look for. Not always. You won't find everything, okay. but at least the fi'il and the fi'il you will find. Okay. So, you have the fi'il. Okay. يحبو فاعل is هو because هو يحبو and then you have أكثر which is like describing it's like comparative yeah so it's something so it's still connected to يحبو and because it's connected to that that means it doesn't the sentence doesn't end here it continues but then also it's a part of خبر yes it's a part of خبر and of course أكثر comparative comes with مين so he he loves him more than more than okay. mean here mm -hmm. means than and more than what again akhawa okay yeah. yes yes won't it be aksaru uh akbaru no because you hibbu it's a fi'il mm -hmm. and then how it describes a maf'ul here in this case. Aksharu, aksara, aksara. So, idlaacha, they can be changed. They are partially flexible. They can change their status. Yeah, but only to aksharu, aksara, aksara. U, a, a. 
monkey sound so, Ooh, uh, uh. In, in, so in fact akbaru akbara akbara even that yes. exists yeah oh. yeah Okay. Any other questions on that? Yes, Saima. No, no, sorry. I, uh, I just looked at right. it. Okay. Now I want to understand. Why is this? How is this Mubtada? Abuhu? Where's the Rafa here? I don't see the Rafa. What's going on? Is this Rafa, guys? It's Rafa, right? Yeah. How is it Rafa? The wow and the Abu. Yeah. Five words. Yes, from Asma al Khamsa, the five words, the five isms. Abu, Ab, Akhu, Hamu, Fudu. Those five ones, and actually, in some places, they say six. I don't know the sixth one, I'm yet to find out, but yeah. So, this one, they become Rafa'a with a wow, they become Nasab with an alif, they become Jar with a ya. Just a reminder of some concepts there. Uh, yes. Yeah, Aksar, I mean, it's Isim Tafdil, right? Yes. So it is, uh, Nas uh, I'm sorry, Rafa, Nasab, Jar, it has a status. Yes, because it's an ism. And, All isms have and it is a status. And it is a maful for Yuhibu. Yes. Here. Yes. Okay, thank you. Yeah. That's why it's Mansub. Yeah, that I got. But it okay. is an ism and it's a maful. Yes. Sister, this whole part will be Aksara Min Akhwatihi. This whole part will be because it's connected to Aksara will be uh, uh, second, or it will be broken at like Min Akhwatihi will be a Mutalik will fail. I know the whole thing is just connected because you can't really separate. Aksara is connected to Min and Min is connected to Akhwat. So this whole thing is just connected. And of course, that whole thing would be the Muf'ul of Yuhibbu. Who will be first and Akhtara Min Akhwati will be second Makhul. Yes, actually, yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah, who is the first Maf'ul? And then Akhtara Min Akhwati is the second Maf'ul. Uh, I think we can end there officially and tomorrow we'll pick up from number six. Any other questions regarding Kana or any other thing before we officially end? All right. So, barakallahu li walikum fi al-Qur'an al-Hakim wa nafa'ani wa iyaakum bil-ayat wa dhikri al-Hakim. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik, nashadu an la ilaha ila ant, nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk.